Why, hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for the week ending Friday, September the 6th, 2019. Well, welcome everybody back from Labor Day, and uh, we finally got September started here, and let's go ahead and take a look and see how these markets did. Now, if we look at the weekly candles, you can see here we we're up two weeks in a row, uh, looking real nice on uh, you know the diamonds. But you can see here we started the week out with the big gap down, and then it was pretty much straight up the rest of the week. So uh, a very volatile week, but uh, we ended up uh, doing pretty good. We're uh, approaching those all-time highs again, so uh, it might be an interesting week. Let's week next week. Uh, let's see what happens. Now going on to the spiders, uh, and you can see here we have much the same story all over the place. The very volatile week, the gap down. Uh, Two weeks up in a row, nice green candle, closing near highs, uh, you know, look, looking very, very good on the spiders. And now to the cues. And, uh, you know, here we go with the same story all over again. Uh, the only difference is if you were watching, you would gap down. And today we did not close above yesterday's high. We're just down a, just a fraction. But, uh, yeah, you can see here uh, we are down 0.1% uh, looking here. And, uh, you know, volume was a little bit on the light side today. But for the weekly candle, very, very nice look. And look how close to the top we closed. So, uh we are uh, looking very, very good on that. Uh, and when, when it comes to the all-time highs as well on, on the queues, you can see how close we are there. And let's go back to the spiders for one second just to show you. And look how close we are there. So we are just uh, very, very close to setting those new all-time highs. Now we'll move on over to Holly and see how Holly uh, did uh, today and for the week. And, uh, you know, you can see here for the grill, for Holly 2.0 and Neo, you can see, uh, you know, how she did all week long. A very, very light trading week for Holly. Of course, you know, Monday was a holiday, so we lost, uh, you know, 20% of our trades right there. But just real quiet, the, these gaps up and gaps down are, are very tough for the day trader. And, of course, that's all Holly does is day trade. She has no overnight hold, so uh, it's, it's made it very, very difficult on her. But with that being said, we had 87 trades this week. She made $1.74 in risk-on mode and in the full risk mode, 663. So, uh, you know, that is encouraging over what we've had for the past couple of weeks. Uh, and uh, so I, I just want to encourage you, if you get anything out of my videos, to smash that like button. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead in the, the notes and you can see where you can sign up for an email newsletter where you will get this email to you every week so you never miss one. And uh, you can also subscribe to them on YouTube. You'll see a pop-up on the left-hand side of your screen there. And then I have a video on the right side will pop up. You can watch that to learn about some free stuff. We have like a free trading room, uh, free trade of the week, uh, you know, just some different things that, that we have to support your trading. Uh, and hey, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.